Hi everybody and welcome back to another segment of Dummies Linux 2012. If you are completely lost when it comes to choosing a Linux based operating system, well you've come to the right place because I am completely lost also. No I'm not, I'm just kidding. Linux based operating systems. If you are really new to this then choice is really really critical. There are lots of choices, lots of types of Linux based operating systems and also different kind of desktop environments. You have KDE, Unity, GNOME 3, Cinnamon, Fluxbox, Openbox, LXDE, XFCE. The list goes on and on. So let me narrow it down for you to four simple choices of what I think would be best for you. Number four on my list is a KDE distribution called Netrunner 4. Now this resembles somewhat uh, Windows 7. Try this one if you have a fairly new computer with at least two gigabytes of RAM, but it looks terrific. Number three on my list is something that you see here. This is Ubuntu 11.10. Now this one you do not need uh, two gigabytes of RAM. You should be comfortable using this with one gigabyte of RAM, but you do need a, you do need a fairly decent video card to get the 3D effects that you see here. So number three on my list would be Ubuntu 11.10. And by the way, I'll have the links to these below in the show notes. All right, number two on my list for Windows Dummies would be Linux Mint 10 or 11. Now, there is a Linux Mint 12, but Linux Mint 12, they seem to be, it seems to be in a state of flux, suffering from a little bit of, of an identity crisis. They have, they offer, well, the system offers different desktop environments such as GNOME Shell, Cinnamon, Mate, um, MGSE that can be a little bit confusing so for now I would stay away from Linux Mint 12 but number two on my list Linux Mint 10 or 11 my number one choice is something called Zorin OS now Zorin to me is the premier destination for somebody new coming from Windows to something called Linux or a Linux based distribution and the reason why why I say that is because their desktop their default desktop the environment looks like Windows 7 it is not Windows 7 of course it's Linux but at least it looks like is like it like Windows 7 and it should be fairly easy to navigate to or through the operating system now like I said I will post links to all the operating system websites below in the show notes so to recap Number four is Netrunner 4. Number three is Ubuntu 11.10. Number two is Linux Mint 11 or 10. Now Linux Mint 10 is a couple years old, but I still have it in one of my ThinkPads and it runs terrific. And for that, you can install and run those two with little, with as little as 512 of RAM. And also, number one on my list, Zorin OS, those you can install with as little as 512 RAM. All right, that's it for this segment for Dummies Linux 2012. There's more coming, so keep tuned to this channel. And as always, I will catch you guys sometime in the future.